Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a guest makeup artist on today. Hi, Carly. Hi guys, I'm Carly Fisher. Um, so I'm excited. very excited to feature you today because, um, first of all, I love having guest makeup artists on my channel. And I've had a lot of other artists on before mm -hmm. I had Patrick Ta. Patrick Ta. Yeah, I assisted Patrick Ta for a year and a half and he's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And you are a very up and coming artist and um, I've been following you qu for quite a while and I really, well, same. <laughs> I really like your approach Thank of makeup. You. And uh, you did this like kind of cool graphic eye today. Yeah, we did a fun graphic eye with peachy tones and just really glowy skin and it was so fun. Yeah, it was yeah. really beautiful to see your style of makeup. Thank so you. if you wanna watch uh, the tutorial what Carly created on Taylor, then keep on watching and enjoy this look, enjoy this video. Now I usually start with the eyes first and I like to use these under eye patches by Skin Iceland. And I use these because they collect a lot of the fallout and you could place it where you want your eyeshadow to be. Now I'm going in with Custard from NARS and I just I usually like to use concealer to prep the eyelid instead of an eye primer. I just find that it works really well and you get a lot of coverage. So I first apply it with a little eyeshadow brush and then I go in with my beauty blender and I'm just pressing that product in. Okay, so now I'm going to set that concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I always just like to go back in and make sure there's no creases at all. And then I'm going to set her eyelid just with a little bit of powder. I find that this just makes the eyeshadow go on really smoothly. And I just like to tap it on and not drag any of the product off that we just applied. Got the eyes out, I'm using this Juvia's Place Palette and I'm taking the color in the center called Nomad. I spritzed my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus from MAC and I'm going in with this shade. And these shades are already super pigmented so you don't really need to spray the brush but I just wanna get as much color as possible. And I'm just going straight in on her eyelid. Since this is a graphic eye, I'm not starting with the transition color because we want it super sharp on the top. Usually I go in with a transition shade in the crease. It just helps the eyeshadow really flow and it looks really beautiful blend out that way. But since this is a graphic eye, I want a really sharp edge, so I'm not going to use a transition shade today. I'm going to have Taylor open her eyes and just look straight. And this gives me an idea of what her eyeshadow will look like when her eyes are open. So I can place the brush right here. So I'm using a super tapered brush for this. So the product doesn't go everywhere and it's more controlled. Because we are doing a graphic eye. So I put a little bit of micellar water on an angled brush and this is really helpful for making a super clean line. Just going right above the eyeshadow. So now with the same eyeshadow palette, I'm going in with the shade Marrakesh and another flat brush. And I'm gonna place this in the inner corner of her eye just to really brighten and open her eyes. And we're still keeping it in the same shape. We're not going too high up. So now I'm going in with this Bodyography pigment and I'm going to place this in the center of her lid just with my finger. And close your eyes. I'm just tapping this on. 
And this is really gonna open her eyes. So I'm going to move on to the face now, but first I need to take off these under eye patches and then I'm going to go in with a makeup wipe and just clean any of the eyeshadow that fell down that the eye patches did not pick up. And also with this makeup wipe we can perfect the outer edge a little bit so it looks straight. And look up. So for foundation, I mixed the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation and the Chanel Vita Lumiere. And I always tend to mix foundations just to get the perfect undertone. Also when, I, um, also, when I'm matching the foundation shade, I always match to the center of the chest. And I'm just starting in the center of Taylor's face and working my way outward. And I'm tapping when I'm around the eyes just because you want to be really gentle around that area. So I'm taking some of the foundation on a big fluffy brush. This one's from La Mer. And I'm just applying this down her neck and just really buffing it out just so everything really flows. And using a big fluffy brush like this lets you cover a greater area. Now I'm going in with NARS Radiant Concealer in Vanilla. And I'm once again using a flat brush and I'm applying this under her eyes to brighten. And then also in the center of her face to add dimension. So I'm going to apply it with this brush and then I'll press in the product with a beauty blender. And also with the concealer, you can sharpen the edge of your eyeshadow, especially for a graphic eye. We want those really sharp edges, so this is perfect for that. So now I'm using this Becca under eye brightener just because I want to add a little more to the under eyes. I just want the under eyes to be a little bit brighter. So I'm just tapping this on and then I'm gonna press it in with my sponge. So now I'm going in with this Tom Ford Cream Contour in Intensity One. And I like to use it on this brush. It's the Charlotte Tilbury brush because it's more precise and turn towards me. And I'm just tapping this on to sculpt out her cheekbones. And I'm gonna warm up her forehead and her jawline with this. And since this is a cream product, I'm applying this before I set her face with powder. Now I'm pressing in the product with a beauty blender. And when I do this, I like to pinch my sponge so the product isn't going everywhere because we definitely want it in a controlled area for the contour. So to set Taylor's under eyes, I'm mixing together this Givenchy powder and this Laura Mercier powder. And I'm just gonna make sure that there's no creasing before I set her under eyes. And I'm mixing these two powders together because I love the Laura Mercier powder and it's very brightening. But the Givenchy has a pink undertone so it's going to make it even that much more brighter. And I just like to pat this on. And I'm using a Makeup Forever brush and I obsess with this brush because it's super tiny and tapered so you can really get into 
all the crevices and I'm also going to use this to powder the center of her face. I'm going to leave the outer area of her face really glowy so I'm not going to set that. So now I'm using Hula Light by Benefit and I'm using this angled MAC brush and I'm just going to contour Taylor a little bit more in the places that we used our cream contour. And I'm just tapping on the product and I want the most of the product to be here and then I'm just moving upward just so it's super diffused. Same thing along the jawline, I'm just tapping it on. I don't want to drag and take off any product that we just applied. So for blush, I'm using this NARS palette and I'm going to be mixing this shade on top and a little bit of this shade just to tie in her eyeshadow. Just dusting off a little bit of the product and I'm applying this on the apples of Taylor's cheeks. And I'm just tapping it on once again. And I like to use a big fluffy brush like this. By the way, this is It Cosmetics um, because it doesn't leave the product all in one area. It just really disperses it. And now for highlighter, I'm using this Guerlain one. And I love this one because it has a pink undertone, so it's going to tie everything in. And I'm using this Morphe brush and just applying a bit of product. And I'm also going to just start by tapping this on. And I learned from Patrick Ta to apply your highlight on the flattest part of your cheekbone because that's where the light is going to hit you. So I'm just taking this on the cheek. And I'm also applying with the pencil brush just onto the inner corner of Taylor's eye. Going in with another highlighter, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Gold Bar Highlighter. And I'm using the same brush and I'm applying this just exactly where I did before. Just to add a little bit more of a glow. And I'm also going to take this one on the peak of the forehead and a little bit down the bridge of the nose. <clears throat> so moving on to brows, I'm going to brush Taylor's brows upward and then I'm going to apply some brow powder. I'm using the... I'm using the Blonde Brow Powder from Anastasia and I'm just going to apply this in the sparse areas because her brows are amazing. She doesn't need a lot of product. So I'm just applying it and then I'm brushing them upward to push in the product and disperse it. Okay, so I'm setting Taylor's eyebrows with the Anastasia brow gel and I'm just brushing them upward and then if there's any crazy hairs on the end, we'll just put those down and this is just really going to set them in place so you won't worry about them all day long. So I just curled Taylor's eyelashes off camera and now I'm going in with mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And I'm using a disposable wand and I'm just getting really close into the root of her lashes and then I wiggle my way outward, just really coating every single lash. Now I'm lining Taylor's lips with Strip Down by MAC and I am just close. I always start at the Cupid's bow and then I will work my way outward. And I like to have a more pouty effect, so I like to, if I'm going to overline, I'll overline in the center. And then I don't usually overline towards the outer area. Now I'm going in with this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And I just applied a little bit on the back of my hand. 
And I'm focusing this in the center of her lips and then working my way outward. And for the last step, I'm using this NYX Filler Instinct Gloss and I'm just applying this right on top. And this is a clear gloss, but I think it gives such a plumping effect.